We were intrigued by a story that we recently came across about gay couples in Uruguay being allowed to adopt. It was described as the first law of its kind in Latin America. So that got us wondering about the state of gay rights in that part of the world. And this issue is our Beyond the Headlines segment tonight. And for more about it, we're joined by Felipe Bruno Martins Fernandez. He is a visiting scholar from Brazil at the Center for Lesbian and Gay Studies at the City University of New York. Welcome to the program. Good evening, Daljit. Thank you for having me. Okay, let me start by asking you, um, how do attitudes towards gays and lesbians differ here in the United States compared to Latin and Central America? I think both regions, they have like homophobic act, uh, acts as a public sentiment. So homophobia is part of both socialization in Latin America and the United States. The difference would be that in Latin America, we, ha we are having really great advances towards fighting homophobia by this, the coalition between the state, LGBTQ movements and uh, universities. L LGBTQ movement would be the movement of lesbians, gays, bisexuals and transgenders. Latin America is an overwhelmingly Catholic uh, region of the world. How does that influence attitudes towards gays and lesbians? I think religion is part of everybody's socialization. And religion, especially Christianity, Catholic religion, and New Pentecostal religion, they give a models of what to be and how to be marriage and how the couples should be. So this model of religion is is it produces the kind of homophobia that we see today, and they are advocating in the Congress against uh, LGBTQ rights in this sense. And we noted uh, this example of Uruguay recently passing legislation around adoption. Why now? Is there a particular reason why that happened? And do you think it's going to happen in other parts of Latin America? We hope so, because Uruguay was a great example since the, uh, the approval of the divorce in the mid-30s. It was the first country in Latin America to approve divorce and then to have full equality to women and then the marriage between same-sex couple and our adoption. So Latin America is facing a really good time in what we could say about the advances in the sexual agenda and homophobia agenda. All right, thank you very much for joining thank us you. in the program.